Hey y'all, good to see you as always here on Grassroots Gardening. I'm Ryan and welcome to the jungle. We finally have got our jungle house ready to open. So we're gonna open it up um, on the 2nd, January 2nd, 2023. And uh, I'm just really excited. We finally got it buttoned up, cleaned up. All of our plants are in here, are tagged and ready for sale. And I'm just, I can't wait for people to come in and see the birds and all the cool plants we've got. So just gonna give you guys a nice little tour, show you what we've got in here. And if you're within driving distance, then we welcome you, come check us out, walk around, say hey to the birds, check out all the plants. And it's just such a neat atmosphere in here. I mean, it's just humid, it's jungle. It's cold outside, but it's nice and warm. And uh, just, it's just a jungle in here. I'm so excited. I just uh, been waiting for this moment for a long time. So it's finally here. Would love to uh, have you guys here to show you around. But if you can't make it, if you live a little bit too far, then now would be a great time to hit that like and subscribe down there, plus the little notification bell, because we're gonna do a lot of videos out here just showing different rare plants and just common house plants too. A lot of propagation videos to come. And uh, so we'd, we'd love to have you on board with us. Let me get you flipped around now and uh, we will walk around our jungle greenhouse here at Grassroots Nursery in Graniteville, South Carolina. So we'll start with the real deal tour. So this is inside of our retail area of the nursery. And as you approach this door here, this will then take you in to the jungle greenhouse. And man, what a big change it is walking from inside out here to this hot, humid environment. I just got done watering and washing the floor down a little bit to kind of polish it up and clean up and just increase the humidity because with the heat running, you know, it does dry it out pretty good. But we've got some large specimens in here. Um, as soon as you come out the door, we have our calathea table set up with all different varieties of calatheas. These have been really popular. Uh, Orbitifolia, really cool leaves. Uh, calatheas are known just for their foliage. The patterns are just unreal on some of these guys. They almost look like they've been just hand painted. And then of course you come to the waterfall that my son Jackson and I built. We got a video on that in case you care to see us, uh, care to know how we constructed that. And um, put a little rope up here to hopefully keep people from falling in the creek. And then we have also these cypress knees here uh, that I found down in Florida. And we purchased those and brought them back for folks doing uh, aquascape design. These are really cool cypress knees uh, from a bald cypress. These are the knees that stick up above the water to help the tree breathe and we use them in decoration like you can see against the greenhouse wall there. Some beautiful monsteras in here doing fantastic. Big Thai constellation up there. She's still doing great. Some uh, different types of ferns hanging in from the ceiling. And just to give you a little view back of where we came from, that will be the entrance and also exit into the jungle. But just a ton of different plants. There's no way I can take time to show you each one of these because we have literally hundreds and it would be a crazy long video. Um, our Morphophallus, it just looks like it's sick, but it's actually going um, into, what would you call it? Dormancy, that's the word I'm looking for. It's going back into its dormancy. So that's the corpse lily, largest flower in the world whenever it decides it wants to uh, flower. So that's Amorphophallus titanum. We've got lots of different types of alocasias and just house plants, just uh, as many as you could imagine out here. Got some huge philodendrons up in the ceiling that we put up on shelves even tropical type cactus. Got our bar set up. I haven't got our liquor license just yet. That's been a little more involved than I thought, but don't worry, I like my beer, so we're gonna get it. And uh, there's some more alocasias and syngoniums on the wall. We've got a good many different types of bromeliads, which uh, some around the greenhouse and even at my home are flowering right now. Really cool uh, house plant, pretty easy to take care of. Birds of Paradise, um, many different types of philodendrons, like this is Golden Crocodile, 
Um, this one is, what's the name of this, Alocasia? Jacqueline, yeah, Jacqueline. And, uh, you, you know, we do have a lot of rare stuff that uh, is expensive, I'll be honest. But we also have many, many common, um, much less expensive plants as well. And as I showed you guys last time, uh, we've got these cages built here where people can come and see the birds. We've got Miss Scarlet, the green wing macaw right there, and of course, old bad boy Larry, everybody's favorite and uh, my favorite too, I'll admit. Shouldn't say that in front of the other birds, but there's our buddy Larry. And I think I showed this on the last video, but this is where we've got a lot of the smaller parakeets and cockatiels in this little cage here. Also a canary back there and a couple of little finches. So I'm probably gonna put some more uh, plants right here in front of the bird cages. And uh, they got a nice little table set up out here with some philodendrons, some bird's nest ferns and crocodile ferns, or alligator, can't remember. It's just, I think it's crocodile. Tons of different Monstera albos, all different size. We've got uh, quite a good stock of Monstera albos. I've been propagating those for years now. So we've got those ranging and all different prices as well. Another big tie, constellation, some Hoyas hanging down from the, from the ceiling. There's more crocodile ferns. Got Bertle over here. Bertle, you gonna talk to the folks? Or are you gonna be quiet as usual, huh? Yeah, I hear you. And uh, a lot of, but the thing I wanted to do was have both large specimens and then also small plants, you know, they're more affordable, but you also can just watch them grow in your home and you know, kind of do it yourself. Some really nice pink princesses down there. Ponytail palms, all kind, types of Schefflera, variegated and standard. Uh, another philodendron, this is Squaminiferum. Gets humongous leaves on it and a pretty quick grower as well. We've got some big Diffenbachia species in here as well as um, big philodendron uh, goldie eye right here, which is this thing, the camera's not gonna do it justice, but that thing is pretty, pretty massive. Some nice palms to fill a big space in your home if you're needing that. And then we've just got uh, all kinds of species planted in the dirt around here. We've got a variegated lemon right there, another goldie eye, banana. Even have my variegated banana, who's on the struggle bus a little bit over here. But I think the we've had crazy cold temperatures lately, and I think that's radiating in from the soil outside and just dropping the temperature down a good bit. And we hung these gutters up where we have a lot of four inch uh, plants that are getting ready for sale. Here's some more ficus and sansevieria, some philodendrons. Staghorn ferns, I mean, we got it all out here for, for sure. And we're gonna have a lot more to come. More alocasia, calatheas, and then I'll take you guys back here. So this is the work area where plants are either being propagated for sale or they're just not quite ready yet. And also I keep a lot of my more rare mother plants uh, back here just cause, well, I don't want everybody touching on them and feeling them and possibly damaging them. So a lot of cool stuff back here. Some variegated Adansonii, Monstera Peru, some Skindapsis. This is our propagation area right over here. And we've got a ton of variegation going on over here. A lot of white princess, white knight. Again, some more elbows and uh, pretty variegated Calathea. I believe that's white fusion down there that white really really pops and uh, so on these propagation areas you see that red mat down there both of these mats are plugged in to this thermostat right here and so i can set the temperature and that bottom heat really helps us uh, get nice root systems on all of our cuttings nice anthurium this is a war aquianum that's a hard one to say Gets really long, uh, strap-like, pretty leaves. Let's see what else I can show you guys. These are just some more of my mother plants. Got some variegated 
um, lost my train of thought. Uh, variegated bromeliads. I've also got a variegated pineapple, more bromeliads, and some more rare type cactus. And then all my anthuriums, I moved back here to the corner because it's a lot darker and it stays a lot more humid back here and they seem to be doing well. These are all my mother, mother plants where we do hybridization and also propagate off of, off of those. And let's see, what else can I show you guys? I just got some more philodendrons over here. Oh, that's really nice. Variegated uh, alocasia right there. Then I'll just our little work area where we pot up, pot up plants and take cuttings and that type of stuff. And we got Holly over here. Hey, Miss Holly, how are you doing today? Don't bite the phone. You doing good? What are you doing out of your cage? Huh? Did they let you out? We had to clip her wings today. Um, have to, of course, in this environment because we've got the big fans up in the ceiling that uh, fans and birds don't get along all that well. So we have to clip their wings. And uh, well, we're just really excited to have everybody come down, see this beautiful place, experience the jungle-like atmosphere, and hopefully find a cool house plant for your home. Well guys, that is our jungle house. We really, um, we hope that if you are in driving distance that you will make the trip. Uh, it's well worth it. We've got the other greenhouse too that's slap loaded with plants. We've got the nursery, we've got the koi pond, we've got the Japanese garden area that we just finished that amazing creek uh, with our buddies at Amy and Corner Ponds. That, um, that area is getting ready. It's gonna be amazing spring. Can't get here soon enough. I'm ready for all the folks to get out of this winter um, funk, or at least I know I'm in a winter funk, but kind of come out of um, dormancy and come out here to the nursery and just experience all that we have to offer. We appreciate you more than you know, and always remember, the more you know, the more you grow. See you on the next video, y'all. Bye.